How you doing everybody? My name is Sean Benner with Weikert Realtors in Port St. Lucie, Florida. I'm the office manager. To my side, this is Jackie Campbell, our Port St. Lucie and St. Lucie County expert. And this is Todd Peters, our Martin County real estate expert. Today we're gonna to tell you about our favorite places to eat. Okay, keep clicking. So Puzzatetti's, which is down in Stewart, has real Chicago thin crust pizza. Delicious. And they also do Chicago dogs. Ever had one of those? Yum. Yeah. Make sure you visit them. Oh, nice. Pusateris. Is that right? Yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> it sounded good. <laughs> Spice Thai Cuisine out in St. Lucie West. Been there forever. Right by, um, what is that? Super Play USA. Little Plaza right on front. Oh, yeah. Place is awesome. Mm -hmm. Sushi, Thai food, whatever you want to get, it's going to be good. Good choice. Thank you. All right, so favorite outdoor restaurant, and I think this one takes the cake. This is downtown Stewart, and if you plan it correctly, so this is all about planning, but you've got to get there early enough on Sunday afternoon, you get the outside seating, you can actually have prime seating for the live band that plays out on the water. So the food's delicious, doesn't even have to be mentioned, but the outdoor seating in the venue totally makes, uh, makes this one one you can't miss. Let me ask you, Todd, do they let common folk like me and Jackie in? <laughs> just sneak in. Tell them you know me. County, County, tell them you know me. County County good people. to go. <laughs> I mean, the pictures do look fantastic. It though. is. It really is. It's really good. Italian restaurant is from a gentleman. He is the chef, the owner, the proprietor, Luca. All right, hit it. <laughs> oh, there we, there go. we go. Restaurante Corleone. He opened about two or three years ago, a um, small restaurant, but everything is homemade. His wife is also um, a chef. She makes homemade tiramisu every morning. Got to go there, call, make a reservation. So Seagren, one of our other agents, just did a great review for him as well. So I started following him on Facebook and I'm like, wow, you are just a lovely person, aren't you? Makes me want to eat there. I yeah. Know. Like he posts really well and it's very professional. This seems awesome. And sometimes the way he speaks. they'll do little cooking lessons online too. Oh, really? Yes. Love it. Good job. I've had dinner there. I've never been there in the morning though. Is that what you were saying in the morning or the, the daily tiramisu? She makes it every morning oh, fresh. Oh, okay. It's so good. So you can okay. eat it in the evening. Yes. All right. I've been there for dinner. It is fantastic. Yes. You're right. Absolutely. I'm going to try it out. I like the Howlin' Rooster. It's newer. I've ordered it from DoorDash quite a few times. But they just have great pub food, right? It's like, you know, like pretzel rolls with beer yeah. cheese and like burgers and ribs. Pretty much everything I've gotten from there is amazing when you're in that mood. Right, yeah, yeah. And they have karaoke night too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try to bring the camera for the next time you're there. <laughs> Todd's favorite sunset restaurant. This is when Todd gets intimate with so, so there might be a theme here. If you'll notice all of all of the restaurants that I choose, it has to do with the outdoor dining experience. And I don't know why it is, but I think eating by the water makes the food taste better or else Sailor's Return is just that good. But this is probably the only one of the few restaurants around where you actually have sunset over the water. And that's not something you get to see very often because we are, as you know, on the East Coast. So Sunset Over the Water is kind of like a cool novelty in this area. And scallops, like a go-to on the menu, the scallops are always fantastic. So that's my recommendation. Good scallops are pretty hard to find at a restaurant. They, they, they tend to be overcooked and, and Sailor's Return does a really good job. And you get to look at all the yachts that you can't afford to buy. Yeah. One day. Okay. In my case, I'll get to look at the food I can't afford to buy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's worth trying. All right. Well, stay tuned for more of our favorite restaurants coming to you soon.